Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today we're going to be making a half-stitched Solomon's Dragon Bracelet in the style of House Targaryen from Game of Thrones. So for this project, you're going to need about two to three feet of your accent cord. I'm using Imperial Red. You'll also need about six to eight feet of your main color, and then another couple feet on top of that for the base of the bracelet, so about eight to ten feet total. I'm using black. You're going to need a buckle. I'm using a half-inch black buckle. You're going to need micro cord. I'm using white. You're going to need about four feet of that. You're also going to need a micro cord fit. And of course, for cutting, you'll need scissors as well as a lighter. So to get started, we have to set up our bracelet. So I'm going to do a cow hitch into our buckle here. So after you get that cow's hitch, we're going to have to connect it to the other side of the bracelet. To do that, you're going to go down and you're going to do the loop around there, come up through the bottom, and pull it through, just like that. So you have two cow hitches on either end, and this is where you can figure out the sizing of your bracelet. Just wrap it around your arm, and then adjust it until it is the right size. I'm going to cut and seal this cord to our other cord, forming our base. And I'm going to do that, and then we're going to come right back. So now we have our completed base. We have one continuous strand because I cut and melded it based on what fit best for my wrist. And then the first thing we're going to need to get started with the actual bracelet weave is our main color. So I'm using black for that. You're going to want to find the middle of that cord and then put it behind your base. Now I'm going to start with a cobra weave. So I'm going to start with the right strand going over the top and then the left underneath and through. This whole bracelet is basically going to be a variation on the cobra weave. So that's how you get started with it. Then you're going to bring in the accent cord, which for us is our imperial red here. And that's going to tuck in nicely right there. So it's going to go through that middle of the base with a tiny little end sticking out that way and then our long working end going out to the right. And then you're going to cobra weave over that. So starting with the left this time, over, and then the right going under, and you'll go under and through, and then tighten it up. And then you'll continue with that weave, taking your accent cord, bring it down and through the middle of your bracelet, and then doing a cobra weave on top of that. And that is the basic weave of the Salmon's Dragon Bracelet. So we'll do that a few times here. You can see after doing a couple of them, it kind of starts to take shape. Now one thing with these um, accents, if they sit too low on your cord, you can take your fid, you can kind of poke at them to give them a bit more life, if that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to continue on here. Accent cord through the middle, and then a cobra weave on top of that. Okay, and that's the start to our Solomon's Dragon Bracelet. I am going to keep weaving here, and then I will come back when I'm about halfway done. Welcome back, guys. So, as you can see, our bracelet's starting to take shape. Just a reminder of that weave. You're going to take your accent cord, put it through the middle, Pull that all the way through, nice and snug there, and then do a cobra weave on top of that. Make sure as you're going along, you're tightening up the bracelet so it gets a nice tight weave. Then continue on with that accent cord through the middle, and then a cobra weave on top of that. We will see you again at the end when we're ready to put our micro cord on. 
So guys, we're back and the bracelet weave is complete. I left this little guy here so I can show a cutting and sealing. So to cut and seal, which I already did on our ends there, you just take your scissors, you're gonna cut the cord, and then you're gonna take a lighter, nice and hot. Try to avoid melting anything else or hurting your fingers. Get a little melted, and then press the lighter against it. And now you have a nice finished weave. So the next part of this bracelet is to bring the micro cord into it. So I've already put some micro cord into my fid. You will need anywhere from like two to four feet, depending on the length of your bracelet. The full stitching, which is where you go through and back, is gonna take about four feet. We're just doing a half stitch method. So we're only gonna need about two. But to get started with that, you're gonna find either of your ends, Take your fid, stick it through, and then you're gonna pull that, not quite all the way through, but well up there. So you have your slack on the working end, and then it's gonna go down through that almost like ring on the other side there. And then you'll pull that all the way through, not grabbing a bunch of stuff on your work table. until the cord lands nicely like that. Now, like I had mentioned earlier, you may need to use your fid to pull up some of these loops to make sure the accent looks real nice. So I will be doing that as I go along. But essentially, we're gonna be continuing that all the way down. So now that we've done the first one, we're gonna go back down through this next loop pull it through, and then across and through the ring on the other side. Until you start getting that accent once again, you kind of have to make sure your micro cord sits well in those spots so you can use your fid to make those adjustments. I'll do one more here. Once again, going up through the bottom all the way through and then across the top through the ring on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna continue weaving and we'll come back when that's all wrapped up. So we have our finished bracelet now. As you can see, it's in the Targaryen colors, the black, red, and white. And regardless of what colors you choose, it's kind of a cool looking bracelet. Now to finish off the micro cord, it's the same as sealing the ends of your 550 cord. And honestly, you could have left the 550 not sealed yet and done this all together at this point would be no problem. Then you can kind of get the seals to melt together, which if that is important to you, that is an option. And now we have our completed bracelet. I'll show it to you on my wrist here. And there is our Targaryen bracelet. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let us know if there's a tutorial you're looking for or any paracord projects you would like to see us do. And we'll see you next time.